Shalom. This morning we're going to be reading from the book of Sethantes in the Oasphi, page 17, chapter 3. Book of Sethantes, son of Jehovah, chapter 3. And it reads, And God appointed in heaven angel surveyors to survey the earth and atmosphere and astronomers to note the place of the stars and enumerators to number the inhabitants of the earth and atmosphere to grade them and to apportion their places and nurses and physicians to receive the assayans or newborn spirits and administer unto them and builders of heavenly mansions and weavers of fabrics for coverings for the newborns, the assayans and builders of heavenly ships and builders of heavenly ships for carrying the inhabitants from place to place and God appointed all, uh, and God appointed unto all these officers and teachers, according to grade appointed he them. Verse two, and when God completed his appointments, the people were apportioned in heaven, every one to his place, to begin the work allotted to them. And God called the Asaphs, and he said to them, Go ye down to the earth, and bring to me the first fruit of the first resurrection. <laughs> and the Asaphs said, Thy will is our will. But what meanest thou by the first fruit of the first resurrection? And God said, the spirits of the dead. The Asaph said, the spirits of the dead, who are they? And God said, when a corporean cometh forth out of his corporeal body, this shall be called death. The Asaph said, who then are the spirits of the dead? And God answered them saying, O ye that died in infancy, how can you learn corporeal things? Go ye then to my Lord Waga, and he will show you. The Asaphs departed and went down to the earth, and the Lord, through the Ashars, delivered unto the Asaphs five hundred Asains, and they brought them to Horeb before the throne of God. And God said unto them, Who are these? The Asaph said, These are the first fruits of the first resurrection. Behold, we know how the beginning and the end, uh, sorry, verse 9, the Asaph said, These are the first fruit of the first resurrection. Behold, we now know the beginning and the end of corporeality. The earth body of these Assyrians was but a womb from which they are now delivered. God said, Well done. Take ye these Assyrians and feed and clothe them, for this is your labor. Verse 11, the Asaphs answered, Alas, we have tried them with all manner of food on which we ourselves subsist, but they will not eat. God said, Alas, O ye innocents, ye feed on ethereal food. These Assyrians must have atmospheric food even as Kaporeans subsist on corporeal food. Go then, fulfill this first resurrection.
For as much as ye deliver them, so will ye be delivered in time to come. The Asaphs then departed, taking the Assyrians with them. But in course of time they returned again to God, saying, Behold, O God, we have gathered of the atmospherian I'm sorry, behold, verse 14, Behold, O God, we have gathered up the atmosphere of trees of all kinds and seeds and plants that grow on the earth. All most beautiful to our senses and savory to the smell. And we gave these to the Assyrians, but lo, they will not eat. Being alarmed, we again hasten to thee for information. Verse 15, God said, Go ye. Oh, uh, God said, O ye of little wisdom, knowing so much of heaven and so little of earth, go ye back to the place when she brought these Assyrians and learn what manner of food they subsisted on. The Asaphs went back with all haste to learn in reference to the food. And in due time, they came again before God, saluting, saying, What shall we do, O God? Behold, these are sayings, whilst in the corporeal form, feasted on fish and worms. How can we bring them the atmospherian part of these things? God said, Even the last time ye were present, ye said, Ye had gathered of the atmospherian parts of trees and seeds and plants growing out of the earth. Why then cannot ye gather of the atmospherian part of fish and worms? The Asaph said, even the last time ye were present, ye said ye had, oops, I'm sorry, verse 19, sorry, verse 19. The ace have said, alas, this difference have we observed. The trees and plants and fruits emit delightful atmospherian, I'm sorry, emit delightful, at, delightful atmospheres. Right. Right. They admit delightful atmosphere. Hold on, what was I at verse? Thank you, uh Jazz. Where was I at? I'm sorry. Okay, verse nineteen. We're still in the book of Sethanti, Son of Jehovah, in O S V, page eighteen. We are chapter 3, verse 19 right now. The ace have said, Alas, this difference have we observed. The trees and the plants and fruits emit delightful atmospheres, most nutritious to the spirit. But that which is emitted from the living fish and living worms is foul smelling. But being but the sweat and dead substance of the vapor, being but the sweat and dead substance evaporating what then shall we do God said go ye to the place where mortals kill fish and worms and in the same time that mortals tear these things with their teeth snatch from their hands and mouths the atmospherian parts of the food and give it to these assayings. Remember also that little by little ye shall teach them to live on yeah. other kinds of food. Verse 21 And as ye do by these assayings, do ye also in after time to others remembering that what men subsist on in corporeal life is entailed on them in spirit for a space of time after entering atmosphere 
and of like substance shall they be fed spiritually. <laughs> the Asaphs then departed. Verse 22. On the third day thereafter, as above mentioned, the voice of Jehovah came to God, saying, My son, behold, what the Asaphs have done in my name thoughtlessly. They came to the fishery and did as thou badest, gathering food for the Asaphs. And at their side stood the Asaphs, saying, Why gather ye food for us? Behold, we are now strong in spirit. Suffer us to gather for ourselves. And the Asaph said, It seemeth well, do as ye desire. Thereupon the Asaphs went to the fishermen and fisherwomen who were eating raw fish. And the Asaphs laid hold on the atmosphere in part and ate thereof a sufficiency. And then the Asaph said to them, Ye have feasted sufficiently, come ye away with us. But lo, the Asaphs engrafted themselves on the fishermen and fisherwomen, and would not depart. The Asaphs, not knowing what to do, called on my name. Send thou, O God, quickly to them, those skilled in deliverance, that my Asaphs be preserved unto everlasting life. And God summoned those skilled in deliverance of engraftment, and dispatched them hastily with messengers to the place of the fisheries. Jehovah said, Come from the uh, Jehovah said, From the trees, the fruits, the flowers, the grains, and seeds, and roots that grow in the ground, have I created a ceaseless harvest going upward into the atmosphere, which shall be the substance of the spirits of men newborn in heaven. But whosoever feasteth on flesh on earth shall not find spiritual food in heaven, but he shall return to the butcheries and the eating houses where flesh is eaten, and he shall feast on the atmospherian part thereof before it is rotten. Be ye guarded of them, lest they engraft themselves on mortals feasting on their flesh. Peace. You can go ahead and shower Okay. And so go down to destruction. I'll pause right there and then I'll finish the rest of the chapter, part two. Later. Later, later, alligator. Shalom.